your CBS 47 pinpoint weather forecast. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sacher. More rain, more snow today. This is a time lapse from Meadow Lakes. This is the camera that points off to the east to Kaiser Peak. So Sierra National Forest there in the background covered with fresh snow. The problem is our next big storm system comes this weekend. It's going to be warmer and warm enough to take a lot of this snow that's freshly on the ground and just wash it away with an inch or two inches of rain. Places like Shaver Lake particularly affected because of its medium elevation. Through the past couple days, we've been looking at snow levels that have been in the 2000 foot range. And they're going to jump back up to the 7000 foot range as we go into Sunday this weekend. Rain so far in Fresno now closer to a half inch. Lemoore just boosted to 65 one hundredths in Mariposa now over an inch and in Yosemite more than two inches. Snow still falling in places like Shaver and Huntington Lake. We're watching that snow level stay pretty steady until we get to uh, later on through the weekend this weekend. This is what's left of a small thunderstorm that moved through Tulare and crossed the 99 more than an hour ago. It's been slowly moving into the foothills here. Exeter getting some heavier rain right now, but as we zoom out, you can see that the rest of the valley is fairly sparse at this hour. Expecting a little more accumulation from this last storm system, but the winter storm warning actually ends at four in the morning. It'll be replaced by a winter storm watch for this next system. Not as cold, but still another good rainmaker and very high level snowmaker. You can see that strong cold front come on shore as we go through the day later on, on Saturday and then Sunday. Because of the higher snow levels, this is going to make things even messier than they have been, I think, over the past couple days. And taking a look at the rest of the week, we have even more moisture headed our way. So the precipitation forecast looks like this. On the left side of the slash, the little precipitation we still have to come. Not a lot here in the valley, but as we go onto the right side of the uh, uh, each city here, you're looking at the precipitation that we're going to see come this weekend. And this changes things because of the warmer temperatures. If you're in Shaver or North Fork or even areas that are up from Oakhurst, you're going to see lots of liquid precipitation on top of that frozen precipitation, at least what hasn't melted already. Solar forecast showing the decrease in electric generation because of the change in uh, sky conditions. We're not seeing a lot of sun lately. Pollen forecast is low from Dr. Ama Minion and the Allergy Institute and freezing temperatures tonight in some spots. Chow Chill, probably one of the coolest places down to 31 degrees. It'll be below brief uh, below freezing just briefly through the overnight tonight and many areas, although they will get cool and very close to frosty conditions might not be enough to damage plants. So if you live in one of those lower areas that tends to drop a little bit cooler, might be a good idea to uh, cover them up and uh, help them out. In the mountains, of course, we've seen cooler temperatures and we're still going to see some chilly temperatures through the night tonight. Tomorrow one, but as we go through the rest of the weekend ahead, temperatures will be warmer and that puts rain into the mix here with those snow levels increasing to the 7000 foot range in places like Shaver Lake. Your valley forecast has rain in the forecast. Just a few sprinkles left to go through this system. The next one hitting tomorrow night and we could see wet weather through nearly the entire week ahead. Wow, we need the rain. It's we good do. To see. We're going to get quite a bit. Okay, well coming up next uh, in San Francisco, the Internet